Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Happy New Year. This is your first love reading of the new year. We're going to try some experimental moves here, something sort of fun. I am now offering selected extendeds. I will choose the extended readings for only those readings that are very complicated and very difficult to sort for your viewing, okay? So I just did a Leo extended. I did not need to do an Aries extended. So just to let you know, you'll always find the link in the top of the comments. So let's look and see, cut the deck here and see what your overall energy is. Sagittarius in love. We have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you have options. You haven't made a choice. The overall energy right now for you and a love interest is, you know, to stay sort of open to whatever you decide to do. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at your energy, your lover's energy. We're going to look at your actions, your lover's actions. We're also going to look at that which is hidden between the two of you and your outcome short term. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have. So we're looking at the energy of the Page of Wands. Is your energy, this is a new deck, so I have to look very closely at the cards. Eight of Pentacles is your person's energy. So you're throwing caution to the winds. It's all about fun. You're not taking anything too seriously. Your partner, however, Sagittarius, is more invested than you are. The Eight of Coins is a high level of investment. They want to get to know you better. They want to have build a foundation with you. They want to give you a sense of security. And you're just in this very playful mood. Well, you know, let's put on capes and just have some fun. Do some dress up. <laughs> okay, Sag, I'm just going to leave it there. It's kind of funny. All right. Now, Sagittarius, what I see in terms of your actions are the Eight of Cups. You may simply not have that much interest in this person who seems to be more interested in you. The High Priestess. Okay, so we see a person who is very quiet, very secret, very doesn't really open up very easily. Very intuitive person though, very intuitive energy. When we look at the what's hidden between the two of you, one or both of you is in this energy of needing to heal. The outcome is a new beginning. So very interesting. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to look and see we're going to clarify this playful energy that you're bringing in. I'm going to pull three cards for that. Okay. So your energy of playfulness is really Page of Pentacles. Let's just keep it light till we know what's going on. It does show the Seven of Wands. You know, you're holding back. That's you being a little bit defensive you know, stop in the name of love. So it looks like you could be healing, but look at this. You really are a very loving person. Not that we ever doubted that, but this is Scorpio energy. You're really in a good place. You're very calm. You're very cool. The waters around you are very calm. You feel good about you. And so you're not really worried about the future too much. So you're in that good energy, you know, again, healing energy. And, you know, you're okay. You're you're good okay so let's see why my phone is ringing okay. sorry about that okay so now we're going to look at the cards that represent clarifiers for your person the reason they want to invest what's going on with them on their side of this attraction we get the Three of Cups, Celebration, Friendship. So, oh, this could be a friend that has always had a crush on you. We see the Six of Pentacles. They want to give to this relationship more than you're ready. And we get the Hermit card. You could be dealing with a Virgo. We have two Virgo cards here. We have Cancerian energy. and We have the Six of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. So... 
this person <laughs> wants to party with you. Did, what did I say about dress up? They might like to dress up. I'm not sure. I'll leave it at that. Once again, I'm sort of teasing you a little bit here. So your person has had feelings for you, I think, for some time. I do think this is a friend. Your person really wants more with you. Let's see what the energy is here. Eight of Cups says that, you know, it looks like your feeling is your the action you're taking. You might actually be in the process of moving. For one or two of you out there, that could be the case. Look, you have your bags packed, ready to go. I just feel like this is sort of a very novel, kind of a not a very serious or has never really been, or it's a brand new connection that you really are not counting on. Hanged Man says you're looking at things from a different perspective. We have the Knight of Cups. You are feeling more romantic than you thought you would, but you are still having trouble with healing from an old relationship. You're not ready yet, is what I'm getting. So let's look and see what the High Priestess is. Your person is sort of just waiting for you. They want to offer one of those apples up to you. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the King of Swords energy. So your person is very much and an energy that speaks to the fact that they're very clear about what they want. They know who they are. They know what they bring to the table. Three of Pentacles, they want to invest. They This person wants to invest in you. They want to have a collaboration. Five of Pentacles says that they feel left in the cold by you. All right, so let's see what we have here for the Six of Swords energy. It's interesting. I don't oftentimes get readings where the sun sign that I'm reading for, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, is not really that interested. Interesting, Sag. Leave comments below. Tell me where you're watching from. But what Six of Swords says you're healing. And it shows a magician. Look at that. Having all the tools you need. King of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is that you very much are looking for a specific profile for a partner. This person may not meet that criteria. Um, I'm feeling very much the Ace of Cups that at the end of the day, you may be waiting for somebody to return. You are keeping your options open. Now, your person really wants to have this relationship with you. So let's see what their energy, well, let's go, let's look at their healing energy also because that's what's hidden between the two of you. How are they in terms of healing? Queen of Cups energy, so they're ready to love. Whoa, lover's card. They are more than ready to love. They want to make the choice. Nine of Wands, they do feel very burdened at the fact that your person may have a lot of responsibility. We see like a mother listening to children fight. She looks like she's single. So what I'm getting here is that your person may be more into you because they're, they have more of a sense of need. Um, I don't feel that they're fully healed. They are healed possibly more than you are. But you have a much clearer idea. You look like you're happier and more stable than your person. So they may be trying to fill the gaps. They may try, you know, they're trying to sort of fill the void, you know. I think that they need help with this energy here of being overwhelmed. Why do we have the Fool card? The Strength card. So your person's pretty adamant about this. The Eight of Wands, they're going to chase after you. That's Sagittarius energy. And the Six of Cups, this is somebody you've known a while. We've gotten the Six of Cups twice now. Or the uh, the card that says that you've known each other, that you're friends. Three of Cups and Six of Cups. So I'm getting this energy that really says that you're, you're still, you know what you want, and it doesn't seem to be this person. Okay, so let's look and see how you're hoping this turns out. Let's see the outcome for you. What's the outcome for you specifically, Sag? What is your desired outcome is what I should say. What is your desired outcome with the situation? Wheel of Fortune. Well, you want the Wheel of Fortune to turn in your favor. The Emperor card. See, you're looking for somebody who I think is more of a leader. 
Yep, Father of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is that though you like this person, though you find it, they're kind of fun to hang out with. I, you know, I still get that Eight of Cups energy. You're keeping your options open. The Ten of Swords energy says for them that they feel defeated. They feel as though this is, you know, they have fire in their belly to do the work. But the, you know, the Hermit card says that it looks like you may have ghosted them. So like I said, it's a highly unusual reading. I mean, if you're here watching the reading, tell me why it is, you know, that I would pick up your energy in this sort of way. It's always good to know. I like to watch readings. Let's look and see what the underlying um, energy is for you in terms of happiness and love. I don't think you're going to choose this person is what I'm getting. What is it that you are hoping to receive in love? Heart of the Fairy Oracle. Okay, we have, <laughs> well, somebody who does not show their big behind. I'm absolutely, now you may be hoping to have someone return that you think was showed their big behind. The Ace of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Magician card says that you are trying to manifest somebody back, and it might be somebody who was not so great. The Pan, you know, you're willing to take that leap of faith, but we do get the remembrance. You want somebody from the past, okay. So you are looking to, um, you're, you're still caring about somebody from the past. So let's look and see if your ex will return, okay? Let's see. Will your ex return? It's the King of Pentacles energy. Let's look and see what we have for your person that you are caught in a nostalgic feeling about. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Will they return? King of Wands. <laughs> well, you might have more than one X, so I think you're attracting back. But look at these horns. Look at the, that rack. That's such a rack. Okay. Nine of Swords, somebody who has you all up in your head. Somebody who is a very powerful masculine energy. The World card, somebody that you finished a cycle with and the Ten of Wands. You had to give up the burdens that they created. We have the Knight of Swords rushes in. And we have in the future Eight of Wands. They are going to return. So Sagittarius, that's a reading I have for you. Thanks so much. Take care. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.